Okay, from the rooftop, uh, sorry if you can't hear me very well from the wind noise. It's always windy at the storage area, so I have to deal with that. But this is what I ended up doing with the panels to start. So I've got four Renogy 100 watt solar panels. And um, what I did was right under the first panel, you can't really see, but the original, you may not be able to see it, the original hole that the 50 watt panel that came with the trailer was is right underneath this panel but uh, it was the gland for that was going to be too small to be able to run the cables for these so i just got a new one and made a new hole and basically how this works is i have each panel laid out and they're all wired up in parallel and they just kind of come under the panels each uh each positive line from each panel has an inline fuse built into it. They're all attached to the roof, and the cables come down, and they all come together in this combiner box, uh, which I just got at Home Depot. Um, inside here, all the positives go with the positives, all the negatives go with the negatives. And then the two, um, and then off those bus bars is the positive and negative that come out of the box, and then down into uh, the roof. So this is the gland that I got. This is two gauge wire, I believe, that I ended up running. And, excuse me, I think it's four gauge, four gauge wire that I ended up running uh, into the roof. And then down the wall, I'm gonna go into the storage bay, which I'll show you in just a second. So, all the panels wired together, and then they go to a combiner box, and then out the combiner box, into the gland, down through the wall, into the storage area where the batteries are at and the controller's at. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. But um, this is what I was able to fit on the front of this uh, 16 Wolf Pub 16 TS. Right now, four solar panels, 100 watt energies. And then what I'm going to do is on the left and right side of the air conditioner unit is where the 200 watt panels are going to go for later expansion. Um, these guys put out pretty much almost their full power. I get about 300 watts in full sun and warm days, which is uh, pretty good. So. Yeah, plenty of room on either side of here for the 200 watt panels. I just didn't have room on the front for all the 200 watt panels, so I just went with the 100, which was cheaper anyway. So, uh, but yeah, they definitely fits pretty well up here. And then I just kind of check up on the roof every few weeks and make sure that the panels are clean and all that when I go to use it. Right now, uh, I'm in storage, obviously, so not that big of a deal at the moment. But uh, yeah, so let me go inside here and show you how the wires come down. Okay, now we're inside the trailer, so it's a little bit quieter. Not as much wind in here. <laughs> Sorry about that. But um, my problem that I faced with the original solar panel, um, or even frankly the, the line in which the, the, the path that the cables took for the original panel was that I couldn't retrace the line. My goal was to come through the original pole, which is right there. There was a little baby solar controller there. Um, and I was just gonna pull the lines through, but uh, in this trailer, they like, they kind of go, out up the wall through a ceiling down another wall and like it's just i wasn't able to pull them and i wasn't gonna take apart all these panels in the trailer so i made my own route because right now the old one came through up here somewhere that's where the cable came out and then it kind of went that way and then down and i just it wasn't worth trying to fish that through so what i did instead was since the controller is mounted right here I ended up running them through the ceiling into the wall because uh, you couldn't really go from the edge of the roof straight down the wall here um, with all the studs that are in the way and the framing of the trailer it just wasn't uh, feasible but what I did is I come through the gland that you saw on the roof earlier and it comes through the ceiling and then I made um, a hole right here with a plate and then some cable hiders and so that four gauge cable comes through this pipe into the wall down inside the wall and then comes out right here inside the storage location now once it comes out of the wall um, it comes through into a breaker a 50 amp uh, breaker and then out of that 50 amp breaker up into the solar controller um, which in the other videos you guys saw, or the other video I posted, I had the controller there, I think, but I didn't have it wired up to solar yet. So this is the complete setup. So we have the four gauge line coming out into the controller, positive, negative. And then we have the two gauge out of the controller through a 200 amp fuse 
and then into the positive um, bus bar for the battery system. And then same with the negative coming out of there. And then through the magic of apps and stuff like that, uh, it regulates uh, how much flow and electricity goes through and charges the batteries if it needs it. Like right now, it's just on float because the batteries are fully charged and we're in storage. So all the 12 volts all shut off. So um, we're not using much power, but yeah. And then, uh, sorry for the mess. Like I said, I'm the trailer's in storage, so I have to pack everything where I can. But battery system has been pretty great since the installation video I showed you guys after I did it. Uh, no problems at all. I actually, um, we did the, the way these are mounted in place here. Um, I put little wood frames instead of the little uh, L brackets I had before. So a little sturdier and a little rubber pattern with them to absorb vibrations. Everything's working out great, honestly. Um, like I said, I, I kind of took a lot of inspiration from other installations and then sort of kind of put my own twist on it. But yeah, um, the solar was relatively simple. Once I decided, once I decided to come out that ceiling and then come down the wall into here, it just made it that much easier. I just ran a fish line, fish tape through there to pull the wires, push some insulation out of the way, and it was totally fine. But yeah, that's how everything's all wired up.